we need to remember, we need to observe, we need to feel deeply this connection that we all have, we all have had. There's no way we cannot have had it because we evolved amongst it. So how do we view nature? I think I want to build on this idea of we've stopped paying attention to it, to this, this concept, the, the difference between something that we think is priceless versus something that we attach no value to. And if we look at the way that the world treats nature most often now, it's as if it has no value. If you look at a wetland and you compare it to a parking lot or a condominium, those things have clear values that can be measured. But if you compare it to its ability to filter water, to stop floods, to help clean our air, and to provide habitat that eventually helps food production thrive in our world, you're missing a series of values in the marketplace. So the David Suzuki Foundation has been around for over 20 years, and we started with something called the Declaration of Interdependence. And David and Tara, who founded the David Suzuki Foundation, and many, many First Nations leaders and thinkers around this province came up with this Declaration of Interdependence. And I'll just read you a couple of lines for it that, that resonate with me over and over. It says, this we know. We are the earth through the plants and animals that nourish us. We are the rains and the oceans that flow through our veins. We are the breath of forests of the land and the plants of the sea. We are human animals related to all other life as descendants of the firstborn cell. So to me, this is the clear indication that we need to remember, we need to observe, we need to feel deeply this connection that we all have, we all have had. There's no way we cannot have had it because we evolved amongst it. So it has shaped everything about who we are and what we do and what we know. And if in the last several hundred years we've, we've been able to forget that because of our own success as a species, I think we're at the point where our big brains should be telling us it's time to re-remember that. It is really time to reincorporate that way of thinking into everything that we do. So we have students here showing us through art how to feel that deep connection with nature. And at the David Suzuki Foundation, we've taken up a suite of work that we call natural capital or ecosystem goods and services. Now it's not artistic or you know something that you feel at a deep level. But when I go to a city councilor or I go to a provincial politician and I want to say this environment needs to be protected or enhanced or restored, they need to be able to understand why in terms that mean something to them. So if I can start to help them understand how much money those forests on the North Shore mountains there save the municipalities of the Lower Mainland in terms of stopping landslides, flooding, turbidity in the water, um, water treatment plants that we have to invest in and run for centuries or decades in order to drink water. All of that has real value. And I'm not trying to put a price on nature. I'm not trying to say those mountains are worth $2.4 billion. The forest industry can do that. But what I'm trying to say is that the services that this environment provide to us every year, year after year, have an incredible value. One of our estimates is between 30 and $60 billion per year for the residents of the Lower Mainland from the environment that stretches from Howe Sound to Puget Sound and up to the, the waters of the Fraser around, around Pitt Lake. That's the ecosystem that provides us fresh air, clean drinking water, and the resources we need to run our agriculture, as well as the many things that we know how to value, the fish, the trees, and all those pieces. So for me, what we're doing here is we are marrying that concept of the guttural, visceral knowledge that nature is incredibly important, and it's a deep, deep part of us, with the reality that our society makes decisions, and those decisions are often based on some kind of cost-benefit, and that we need to be able to translate for nature, to help it explain itself to the people who make those decisions that way. Thank you very much. Thank you.